I think this is a good point to talk about going from Chandrayaan 2 to Chandrayaan 3. I remember seeing the Guruji interview where you said, I think for one year, you did an analysis on what could have even been done even better. Yes. Uh, can you briefly tell us in like three or four points huh. what, you know, was figured out in that one year? I know three or four points is too less. <laughs> but for the sake so of the So we know that uh, it, most of the mission was very, very, uh, very much ac uh, achieved. For example, the rocket put the satellite in the perfect orbit. It took from that orbit to raise the orbit to reach the moon. We lowered it to 100 kilometers. We initiated the lander landing only towards the last phase. We had a tumbling of the rocket and it did not touch only just 300 meters. So we understood the problem is a very minor problem. But then when we went into deep, we understood the minor problem always manifest in many ways. This is a way in which all complex technological problems appear. We call it window of opportunity. Suppose you imagine a room, then there is an outer room, another room outside, a third room outside. There are rooms around the rooms. And there are windows aligned. If you open a window, you can see a next window. If you open that window, you can see a third window. If all windows are open, then the what is inside the room can escape through it. We call it a failure. It's a failure propagate. If one of the windows is closed, it cannot propagate. It will get contained. So no failure happens. If, if one of the window is open, anyone, if at least one of the window is closed, the failure doesn't propagate. A failure happens only when multiple windows are open. And they not only open, they are aligned each other. Mm. They have to, if they are randomly placed, still you cannot see outside. So when they come aligned like that, failure happens. So we looked at, in this case, which are the windows that were opened and how they got aligned. So this makes a lot of you know, analysis. Some of them are related to software. Some of them are related to the assumptions that we went into the designing of that software. Some of went into the performances of the engine, whether it was in the at the right level or it is up or down. So we found out at least five different elements of it got aligned to make this failure happen. If one of them has not happened, this landing would have been perfect. It was a fantastic finding. And what we did is, after finding it, we have to prove it. That this is how it happened. These are all hypotheses, no? Like a car accident, I always tell. I cannot collect the car and bring back to find out whether the brake failed or, you know, the site, the lander is still on the moon. I couldn't bring back. So I can have to synthesize a case by computer simulations or by mathematically. Then we have to prove it. So we created another set of hardware. We tested it and then found out where it has gone wrong. And we proved the hypothesis is like this. And gotcha. we found it is find out correct. So this is why they say rocket science yeah. is the most difficult science. It is difficult. And many a times I can tell you, even in the first year, we couldn't find all reasons. And the real, one of the very crucial failure case was discovered only on the fourth year. After we realized the entire flight hardware and we were testing it, on a, on a fine day, a new issue was shown. And we found out, that is one of the most crucial issue. And it was discovered after four years. Just randomly it was randomly. discovered? Mm. This is where that spiritual helping hand This is definitely, did. yes. It was destined to succeed. Mm. But then it happens only when you put enough of effort. Then only it will show up. If you simply keep quiet and think about it, nothing will be shown in front of you. What did PM Modi say between Chandrayaan 2 and 3? Because I'm sure there was some stuff said to the whole team at ISRO behind the scenes. So what was his message then? See, he has been all the time telling he supported us. Even after the failure, he was there at our control center. The next day he came, consoled all of us, then told us that though this mission, we could not soft land. Much of the mission was uh, accomplished and we are very near to it. And we need to overcome. And then he approved the second mission. Without his approval, Chandrayaan 3 would not have happened. So you know his support is very much there. And all throughout that, there he has been taking regular reviews to understand what is the progress. And on the Chandrayaan 3 also, he, we briefed him, con convinced him that we are going to make this time. So the support was always there from him. Okay. If you enjoyed this clip from the Ranveer Show, we've uploaded a ton of other clips related to a ton of other topics. So explore the channel because there's something for 